Okay, Benchmade Fact. They were founded in 1979, but it wasn't called Benchmade. It was called Balasong in Pacific Cutlery. No, 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 no. Okay, great. That's fine. Benchmade Fact, please? Uh, they also have a butterfly logo. Yeah, I know. All right. Let me try again. Would you please hand me the Benchmade Fact knife? Oh, the knife. Yes, I'll hand you the knife. All right, there we go. I thought I was just going to be saying facts. I guess so. Frankie, new for 2018. <laughs> the Benchmade Fact. They started out in California. Another one? <laughs> <laughs> Where are they at now? Um, they are actually in Oregon City now. Oregon, Oregon City, Oregon. Yeah. Uh -huh. Another fact is in the 90s, they moved to Oregon. Why is this called the fact? I don't know. I don't know that fact. <laughs> you guys come to uh, to get your information from the video reviews. We're not sure. We have no idea why they call it the fact. I didn't see it listed mm -hmm. when I was researching the knife, like well before we bought it. <laughs> yeah. mm -mm. We picked this one up last weekend. Yes. And we were looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Oops. We were definitely looking forward to this model for 2018, and I'm struggling with it a little bit. <laughs> it's still a little tight. Needs it's, to be loosened up a little bit. Yeah. That is what she... <laughs> didn't say. That's what she <laughs> determined when she fondled the knife. <laughs> what do you think so far? I think it's pretty cool. I like the all murdered out look, Chal. Murdered out, Chal, yep. It's always a good color feature. They they had, they had, do have two uh, color combos as of right now, the time mm -hmm. of this video. They've got this murdered out version, all right, with the black coated finish on the blade. S30V, by the way. And then they have the satin finish one, too. Same blade, everything the same, mm -hmm. satin finish on the blade. Yep. Which makes this one a little bit more expensive. It's 191 and then the satin one is 178 Okay. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, Blade HQ prices, yep. by the way. Yeah, this knife looked interesting. I definitely wanted it. I knew it was going to be a knife that we were going to get to feature mm -hmm. on the channel at the least, right? Yeah. And, um, well, it is, I guess I didn't realize it until I, until I bought it. Uh, the box is right there. Frankie, it is part of the black class. Meaning tactical and that. scary. Tactical and scary, uh -huh. such as the Infidel. Yes. Such as, what are some other knives in the black class? I want to say the, um, oh gosh, I can't remember. We used to have it, the Contigo. Oh, yeah. Part of the uh -huh. black class. Yeah, like first responders, emergency service, tactical, that kind of stuff. This yeah, is the black blades. class. Uh -huh. I, I guess I didn't think about it too much, but the fact falls under that category, right? They have four classes of knives. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and tell them. This is a fact. <laughs> this is a fact. They have the blue class, which is like the EDC everyday carry ones. Yep. The normal, typical bench mate. Um, I don't know. The griptilians. Sure. Um, and then they also have the black class, which is more tactical, scary, mm -hmm. you know. Yep, yep. The gold, which is more collector, prettier Expensive, stuff. Expensive, high dollar, yeah. exotic materials. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the hunt class, which is the hunters stuff. The hunt series, yeah. We've had one. We've had the Crooked River. Crooked River, yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, which was a cool knife, and I sort of regret selling that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But here we go, part of the black class, and it does make sense after I get this knife, Frankie. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, blade length on this, we're talking nearly four inches. Yeah, three point nine five to be exact. Let's take a look at it with the mini grip there. You guys know the size of a mini grip tillion, okay? It does make it look really long and skinny. It's a long <laughs> knife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's fairly, um, it's short in height. Yes. All right. Um, I want to say it's average in width. Yeah, that's the only thing that I can say that is my little criticism on it, is that I thought it was going to be thinner. Just it's from looking on it, pictures, it looked like it would be thinner in the handle. I, I, I agree with you, and I think that maybe I would like it more if it was thinner. Yeah. And that's not to say that this is bad. It's, yeah, it's not bad, but I, I guess I was just thinking that it'd be sleeker. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Now, we are talking, you know, the spear point blade there. The mm -hmm. blade itself is not thick by any means. It's uh, What's the blade stock thickness? 0 0.11. Which is on the thin side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. And, it, of course, it's got that swedge there, making it even stabbier, Frankie. It's super stabby. We've been talking about those style of blades yes. versus, you know, the karambit fighting blades. Yeah, this is a stabbing, thrust cut, pierce mm -hmm. cut kind of kind of blade, right? Yeah, it would hurt. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, well, speaking of that, too, looking at the bevel, yeah. I do want to point this out. The bevel is very even side to side. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and I cut a few things with it, and it was super sharp. It's very sharp. Do we have any paper over yeah. there ready? Uh, not I ready, but did. I can 
I can books. ready it. Guys, we are still using phone books in 2018 for this very reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't cancel them at our house because, uh, you know. We use them. We use them to test our blades all the time. Mm -hmm. This is the factory edge after a little bit of use. Not bad. Yeah. It Not is, bad. It, it's very smooth cutting. Yep, yep. Good bevel. Mm -hmm. um, where was I going with that materials? Well, it's an axis lock you can see there. It's starting to loosen up a little bit. As, as they are from the factory, they're a little stiff. you got to break them in. S30V. Yeah, I was mentioning, um, so with that blade material, S30V, Benchmade uses a lot of S30V, and I have, I think it was the bug out video yeah, I picked on Yeah, you criticized him. it a little bit. It's a minor, it's a nitpick, you guys. It can be a little chippy. I will say this, I will say that S30V is probably yesterday's super steel. Yeah, okay. All that's right. true. All right, um, but it's still great. It's mm -hmm. still excellent, okay. Um, getting into the scales, that's what we're going to talk about here. Yeah. I think that's the area where you and I like it the least are the scales themselves. All right, it's aluminum, that's great, mm -hmm. that's fine. They have these um, little little grip yeah. striations Stri cut into them, milled ridge. into them. Yep, you can see that. It does offer excellent grip. Mm -hmm. And then it's a flow-through design all around. Top and bottom, it's, see, it's barrel it spacers. Flows well, yeah, and it's <laughs> milled through. And actually, Frankie, it's not just this aluminum yeah. uh, spacers, or the aluminum uh, scales. Mm -hmm. You can see right behind there, also black, are the stainless, stainless steel, steel. Yeah, yeah, inside there to back it up for even more support, okay? So, yeah, all in all, let's talk about, um, well, what's the weight there? Okay, let's, yeah, weigh them. See what we got. It, it's relatively light, okay. especially considering that it's a four inch blade. Mm hmm Okay, Point just- three two. Yeah, just over three inches, really. Okay, not bad. I'm just, for comparison, mini grip, it's not even that much lighter. Mm -mm. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good that way. All right. Um, let's while we've got it out, let's measure that. Yeah, because like the, like I said, that's what I was thinking it was going to be, just a little bit thinner. Yeah, the scale. Let's show them real quick, just here. Mhm. Mm the mini grip looks a little fatter. Yeah. It always has a little thicker handle. Point four six, and it depends on where it is. Oh like, right, right, yeah. Because there's the ribbing too. Inside or on top of one of the cuts. Mm -hmm. So it, it's coming in just under half an inch. I, I would have expected look, the grip to yeah. be a little Isn't that thicker. Weird? Yeah. yeah, interesting. It's always weird when you actually put the measurement up to it because what, it feels yeah. differently. What your mind perceives versus the actual facts, mm -hmm. the bench made facts, <laughs> Frankie. Uh, they no, it's also sometimes have different. around 350 employees. Benchmade has around 350 <laughs> yes. employees. We, okay. learned, we learned that this afternoon, you guys. That's a that's a bigger company it than is. I thought. Yeah, they're in um, they're in Oregon City, Oregon. Mm -hmm. Right now, 350 employees. You guys that uh, that complain about costs of Benchmade mm -hmm. um, versus the materials that they have. Well, you guys got to consider. A fact. You can, Pacific Northwest is expensive to live in. <laughs> it's expensive to live there, and it's expensive to do business there. So uh, that's part of the reason. That's a fact if I've ever heard of one. <laughs> <laughs> Just something to consider. Yeah. yeah. It's not the not the cheapest place to uh, to employ. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to compare, because the closest comparison knife that we have... We have a few. ...that... I think it's very comparable, mm -hmm. is the Bose Smoke. Now, the deployment method and the fact that it's a frame lock, that's totally different, but the, the profile, once it's yeah. once it's deployed, this is a very similar knife, isn't very it? Very similar. Both murdered out chaw. Murdered out chaw, yep. And they both kind of have that vulnerability factor because this one's front flipper and then access lock. So, Agreed. You know, it's kind of similar that way. Something that I've always, we've always said about Benchmade is they have that vulnerability factor, okay? Mm -hmm. There's a 940, oops. See, I'm used to the... I know, it's <laughs> a little bit different. Fact. Check it out. The fondability factor, very high on a Benchmade, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, same thing on the booze though, of course. Yeah, and this one is just a little bit thinner, so that's what I think I was comparing it to. Is it though? 0.44. Slightly, okay. Mm -hmm. Not even that much thinner though. Enough to make the difference, I guess. Yeah, and what else is similar to? Crossbones. Kind of the same sleek, thin profile. Mm -hmm. What are we talking here, price-wise? These are around 70 or 80, aren't yeah. they? Something like that, 70, I want to say. Cross eight. And then we're at, you know, 175 to 190, depending on the finish. So, yeah. And then these were around 200, but good luck getting one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And one so, that's kind of similar too, but it's an automatic, but it has the same 
stabby spear point. Stabby, you know, dagger kind of blade, right? This is yeah. the godfather, isn't it? Um, that's the godson. Godson. The I always Protect forget which one. Godson. Yeah. yeah. Also made in the U.S. 154 cm. Uh -huh. Those are going to be around what 200 or less. Yeah, I think something about that. Yeah. I think this one was a little bit more because it was a special edition one. Yeah, yeah. But super cool. What else did we get? You could get an Ultratech, actually. Yeah, about that same price. That I got that one out because that one specifically has the dagger blade. Mm -hmm. you know, kind of similar tactical stabby idea that way. Yes. But price wise, what two fifty on those? Something? Yeah, so, that's a bit more. In that area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's the competition that uh, that we were kind of thinking. Oh, even the Almar. Even the Almar Eagle Ultralight. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and Very I used to like similar. this knife a lot more. I used to like this knife. I carried this knife a lot in uh, 2015. Mm -hmm. I think a couple of years ago, me a couple of years ago, would have liked this knife more. Yeah, I can see that. I think I'm just less into this blade style. I'm, I'm a little less into the tactical knife, right? And I just mm -hmm. like, I just, I guess I, for me, I would say, I guess I've learned that I'm more of a blue class guy these days. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Well, I'm a gold class kind of girl. <laughs> oh yes, she is though. She is. No, that's funny. We don't own, we don't own any gold class knives, but uh -huh. like, yeah, her taste is expensive in general. I'm surprised we don't have any gold class knives. Well, I looked at that one. It was kind of close to. Go ahead and put that away, would you? Retract it. You're mean. <laughs> this one is so stiff. So incredibly stiff. So stiff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I think this is the older model too, where it doesn't have yeah. that easier deployment. God, that one's so. Yeah, every other Ultratech that we have is a lot. Yeah, a lot thanks. Easier to deploy. This one doesn't have any kind of problems like that. Mm -mm. Access lock, fun. It came a little stiff, but we just loosened up the pivot and it made it perfect. Well, we should say we did loosen it ever so slightly, mm -hmm. which is sometimes, you know, what you got to do. They need uh, maybe just a tiny bit of adjustment. Yeah. Um, where we have it, there's where we have it centering wise. No blade play. And it's excellent. Yeah, and we said left or right hand carry, which is nice. That's what's nice about access is lock. Excellent for you lefties, right? Right. You're welcome, lefties. <laughs> right? No, left. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just got it. <laughs> Listen to the clicky click, though. The clickety clack. Clickety clack. That we know from 940s. You know what's funny? Hmm. You know what's another fact? What's a, what's another bench made fact? From California, they moved to Clackamas because you were saying clickety clack. Clickety clack, Clackamas. Clackamas, Oregon. That's, that's a city in Oregon, you guys. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. But it's clickety clack, Clackamas. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Would we recommend it? Yeah. yeah. Why not? It, you know, if heck yeah. Exactly. It's it's a good knife. It's good quality. Good materials. Mm -hmm. And if you like the style, it's going to work for you. Do you like these type of blades? Yeah. Do you like these long, skinny? stabbing pierced thrust cut type of blades well you know what it really is it's mm. a hybrid between a microtech and a 940 sure okay. you know what i mean like yeah. it really is a combination if these two had babies that's what you would get it's a fact <laughs> it's a fact <laughs> that's a fact okay yeah i laughed at my own joke it was she, funny <laughs> she seriously like looked up a bunch of stuff on benchmade before we did this video so she would have benchmade facts mm -hmm. yeah no, it's good. We but learned you know a little what bit I mean? about them. Like, think about it. If you put this with like a more tactical, the original. I don't know if it was Benchmade, but the original Benchmade uh, creators declared bankruptcy in 1987. That is crazy. And then Benchmade was formed, I think, in after, 88. After that, yeah. Yeah. That yep. was a that was a bad fact. I didn't want to say that one. Well, it's part of their history. You yeah, know? that's true. I'm I'm glad they made it through. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> they're certainly part of uh, why we love the hobby today. Right. That is true. This one though. I just, it's its not for me, and I'm just going to say that on taste. Just uh -huh. on taste alone, right? The chili here. Yeah, it gets everywhere. Oh, yeah. We were, we were discussing that earlier. How much <laughs> hair do we eat? That's, That's a gross. whole other video. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> so gross. Totally, we'd recommend it, but it's just, uh -huh. you know, I guess I thought I would like it more, and I think 2014, 2015 me would probably like this yeah. knife more. Yeah. Well, and you're just not as tactical as you used to be. That's true. That's true. You know? Yeah. You don't wear cargo pants every single day. <laughs> <laughs> cargo pants. She's making me out to be like this mall ninja. Yeah. Did we talk about the clip? Speaking of mall ninja, very deep carry. Mm -hmm. I mean, the deepest of carry. A lot of people are going to like oh, that. I've yeah. pocketed it. I've, I've carried this knife a couple of days. And it, it's easy enough in and out of the pocket despite being deep carry. That's, mm -hmm. that's usually my main gripe with it. 
Well, um, there's enough clip there to grab two. It's nice that it's black too, because that's just a nice non. It's a little more noticeable. discreet. Noticeable, yeah. Not everybody thinks that guy's got a knife, you know, when you mm -hmm. see something like that. But mm, yeah, yeah it could I be definitely a pen do. Or something. <laughs> I do. I'm like, hey man, you got a knife? <laughs> Sweet. Let me see. I'm that guy. I'm that stranger who talks yeah. to you that way. <laughs> Frankie is too. Yeah. It's a, a good knife. It's a good knife. It is. I just, uh, it's, it's a catch and release. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll go up for sale at some point, but. Mm -hmm. very we'll keep nice. it for a little bit longer. Very nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we have that? Uh, this is the mini grip for you. This one's actually pretty new as well. That one's not ours. It's not ours. Mm -mm. Thank you, Angie. Yes. Thank you, Angie. <laughs> as if it, she's giving it to us. Yes, it's, it's, it's no. getting sharpened. Yeah, I'm actually going to do a sharpening job on this one. But the mini grip for you, the full size grip for me, mm -hmm. um, or lately, and I didn't get it out, the bug out. Man, yeah. I just, I absolutely love the bug out. For me, yeah, I, I really think I kind of learned that, you know, it's just more for the blue class. For, yeah. For, for well, us. Well, then there's more colors and, yeah. I don't know, fun. Not as tactical. That being said, okay, mm -hmm. I still really, really want the infidel. That's true, you do. And just cool factor. There's still that cool factor, all right? You should have gotten one for your birthday. Instead, you got this. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> the, you, the infidels double the cost of this. What did the infidels cost? Like $400? Oh, whatever. It wouldn't I mean, have these ones are less you. than $200. <laughs> these are cool. Du I probably could have not gotten a knife for you to get a knife. Yeah, that's for your true. Birthday. That's true. <laughs> See our previous video on that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Great knife. We recommend it if you like the style and you mm -hmm. like this type of blades. You know, have you handled these type of uh, this this type of knife, folding steak knife? Yeah. Before, yeah, yeah. It is. It is exactly that. If you like it, pick it up. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a bench made fact. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot for joining us, guys. Bye.